This is a presentation of Welcome Malala, where we bring you fun and informative videos from within our community. Malala welcomes Ken Fetters of the main shop in Malala, presenting part three of his gardening series, The Straw Bell Garden. Well, hello everybody, it's Ken from the main shop again. This is the third installment of our gardening series. The first installment was our Amazon box gardens that some of you may have created. The second installment was preparing a straw bale garden. And the, this next um, installment today, the third installment, will be inspecting our straw bales and then starting planting in our straw bales. So just kind of take a look if you've been um, fertilizing in your straw bale and you've been adding your water, you should see some, some beginnings of decomposition. And you can see here, it's starting to get dark. There's some molds developing in, in between, which is gonna help promote the decomposition. And it's really soft. And we're gonna keep the bale strings on for now because that helps promote, if the tighter it is like that, the better the decomposition is gonna be. It'll build up some heat in there. So if you, if you have your straw bale and it's nice and soft, you can just start making some holes in the straw bale itself. And I'm using this uh, fancy yard butler, yard tiller, but you could use anything you wanted to. It could just be a small garden spade to kind of dig away or cut away some of the straw. Then we're gonna take from our Amazon box garden, if you started plants in your Amazon box garden, we'll take some of those starts from our Amazon box garden. You can just ease, ease those out of there, put them into our, little furrow that we made, kind of tamp them in a little bit. And as you can see, I'm gonna open it up. I can almost do this with my fingers and I'm gonna get underneath that start. I'm gonna install it, kind of press it into place. <clears throat> and again, only with my fingers. I don't even need that fancy yard butler. And when I stick my fingers in there, I can feel the heat. It's got to be 20 or 30 degrees hotter in there than it is on the outside right here. And that's a good sign. That means that the straw is decomposing. It's going to become uh, some uh, better organic matter for the plants to, uh, to root in. You can see I'm just tightening tightening up the straw a little bit like that. And then I'm gonna take the leftover soil from my Amazon box. I'm gonna kinda use that around the starts. <clears throat> this will help keep the moisture around the start even though it probably won't need it because the moisture seems to be staying in the straw bales pretty well now these are bedding plants these are petunias specifically you may have had you may have started vegetables in your amazon garden uh, you may have started, I think we did some radishes, maybe even some other different bedding plants, some flowering plants. So you can see, I'm just kind of getting the soil all kind of in there like that, to help keep the moisture at the root of the bedding plant. Then the next thing is to do is to water this in um, pretty, pretty well. Uh, you don't have to soak it all the way through and then you'll continue to to water your plants throw a little bit of that fertilizer on periodically uh, don't overdo the fertilizer and then eventually as this straw bale starts to decompose a little bit more you'll be able to see it decomposing out here we'll be able to open up these um, the binding twine and let it kind of slowly work its way into the ground and then that'll be continuing on the straw garden. 
I was talking to one of the FFA teachers and she told me that she found that the second year of her bale produces the uh, flowers or the vegetables better than the first year of the bale. I guess the de it has decomposed a bit more, a little bit more organic material is opened up. So there you go. That's our next installment of our, our hay bale garden. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for spending time with Welcome Malala. We hope you enjoyed this episode and that you will come back for more and share with your friends.